What does vulnerability mean to you? Chances are your definition isn't quite the same as your friends or even your family's, and it's almost certainly different from that of complete strangers. It's fair to say that no single definition of vulnerability is likely to apply to everyone everywhere. That includes the millions of people all over the world who migrate from their home countries each year. Who is most vulnerable in the eyes of the law? How do lawmakers, judges, and aid workers address vulnerability? And how do laws affect the vulnerabilities of migrants? The Vulner Project was established to address these and other questions surrounding migrant vulnerability. Lawmakers and politicians around the world are continuously trying to find ways to address migration, where people are forced to leave their homes for reasons such as war, violence, or climate change. But different countries operate on different rules. Migrants considered vulnerable by one government might be viewed and treated differently by another. For example, Lebanon focuses on socioeconomic position, whereas European countries and Canada look at personal characteristics such as health and gender. Using scientific data and analysis, the researchers behind the Vulner Project want to find out where these differences lie and what happens to migrants because of them. This entails not only taking a close look at regulations, but also hearing from migrants to understand how they live through and overcome their vulnerabilities. Vulner researchers span nine different research institutions and share experiences in law, sociology, and anthropology. Together, they're exploring migrant experiences throughout Europe, Africa, the Middle East, and North America. What they find could help explain what vulnerability means to migrants, as lived and told by migrants themselves. To find out more about the Vulner Project, follow us on Twitter at Vulner Project.